Yeah, ho oh, YouTube. I am super Yankee. And in today's video, I'm taking you on. I'm taking you. And it's a hello, people. Oh wait, before before we go, hello. Would you like to follow my YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Hello, everyone. I'll, I'll turn off the camera. Let's y'all. You want to say something? Hi. There you go. Yeah, YouTube, so definitely we are on our way to a Japanese restaurant. Super stoked, haven't eaten anything all day long. But I thought that, you know, if you live here in Miami or if you're coming to visit Miami, I think there's some great Japanese restaurants in the area. But you have to know where to look for them. So today I'm at Sunset Mall. And there is a Japanese restaurant. I don't know the name of the restaurant right now, but I'm sure when I find it, I'm going to be able to tell you. I think it's like Murasaki, Murasako. So no, that's, that's the other one that's in Coral Gables. Definitely want to take you to that one. It is the best Japanese restaurant in all of Miami, in my opinion. But this one, huh, where is it today? I feel like we're getting close. I feel like it's not on this street. I feel like, I feel like, oh my wow, I feel like I have a phone. I feel like I have a phone and I can search this up. Hold on, let me, let me do that, YouTube. <laughs> Oh, and YouTube, just as I was getting my phone, I remembered the name of the restaurant. It's Miyako. Miyako. So if you can see my phone here, YouTube, we are via Southwest 137th Street. We have to walk two minutes, 0 0.1 miles. Get Genki! It's down the street that way, which is totally not the way I was going. But that's the power of technology, I swear. If you know what you're looking for, you can find it. But YouTube, you have to know what you're looking for. Sure, you could type in Japanese restaurant in Miami, but you're gonna get a bunch of Japanese restaurants in Miami. To find the good places, I really do believe that you have to do your research. And that's why I wanna show you this place, because it's so good. Also, Akatsuki is really good too. It's over by the Sunset Mall, and I haven't eaten there in a long, long, long time, but I'm gonna save that in mind for the next time I wanna take someone to dinner. I'll make that video another day. We've had a lot of filming and it's so exciting. It's around 4.15, my watch tells me. Guys, girls, everyone, watches are super great. You should definitely get one. I highly recommend it. And yeah, we are on our way. Something I really enjoy about this restaurant is that they have tatami. Now for all of you that don't know, tatami is a Japanese wooden floor. And I always sit on the tatami whenever I go to Miyako. So it's actually right over there. Look, I see it from here. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Well, of course we're gonna get closer because we're walking there. But, hey, get Genki. Here we are, Miyako Japanese restaurant. All right, YouTube, fun fact. On Sundays, Miyako opens at five o'clock. Now, I could go to Akatsuki today, but I really want to take someone else to Akatsuki, so I'm not going to go to Akatsuki today. I'm actually going to wait until 5 o'clock to go to Miyako. If you really want something, you have to be willing to wait for the opportunity. That's what I believe. If you want to eat somewhere, if you want to go somewhere, it may not be immediate. You may not be able to do it in the moment, but don't let your thoughts be ruled by the moment. Persevere, YouTube, because perseverance builds character, and character builds hope. Hashtag Romans 5, chapter 5, verses 3 through 5, get Genki! YouTube, listen to this. Irashemase! Yaho, YouTube. Miyako just opened up and look at it, it's Japanese. Let me see if I can read this. Seshi Podo. No, I can't. Biru, no, no, Sapporo beer. Yeah, Sapporo beer, but what does that? Anyway, yeah, these are the tatami mats that I was talking about. Super, super stoked to be here at Miyako in Sunset Place. Get Genki! YouTube, the waiter was Japanese, and that's how you know that the restaurant is good. When Japanese people are working at Japanese restaurants, that means it's like authentic, and it's so cool. Look, this is my glass of water. I've been, I've been on like a, a big journey today because I've been filming a lot in private places and I didn't ask for permission. So like definitely now I'm like so about it. Like I, I asked literally, I asked the guy for permission to film in here and he was like, yeah, sure. Just don't catch any of the staff and don't say anything negative. I'm like, of course not. I love this place. I love these tatami. And look, this is how Japanese people sit when they're eating dinner. They sit on their knees 
like this, I, I, like the, the folded knee thing. So it's really cool to be here and just to have the chance to eat some Japanese food. And I'm, oh, I'm so excited because I'm eating katsukare. Oh, it's my favorite. So definitely, if you come here, I definitely recommend trying the katsukare. I had it like every Friday when I was in Japan. The point is, if you want to film inside of a place, be sure to ask the management before you start filming. And I am super Kluber ultra excited for katsukare. I used to eat this like every Friday when I was in Japan after work. I would only eat like once. <laughs> I would only eat out like once a week and it was just, it's so cool. Oh my god. Here at Miyako, get Genki. I'll tell you how it is after I take the first bite. Actually, let's take the first bite here. Mmm. So good. So good. I've never used chili pepper before. But because it's here, I'm gonna use it today. I'll tell you how it is. Get Genki. It actually made it spicier, which actually made it better. So I recommend if you're gonna get chicken katsukare and totally do it, use the chili pepper. Definitely try a little bit before you put a lot on your plate because it is a little spicy. So I just finished my meal right now. Super good chicken katsukare. Totally recommend it for anyone who wants to try some good Japanese food. I definitely rate the food here at Miyako a 10 out of 10 and this is my ocha my green tea I'm so excited they just gave this to me after my meal was over and yeah yaho youtube i am super genki and this is my yocha to go service was super on point i haven't used japanese in a very long time and miyako had japanese people working there so i got to speak japanese and it was so cool for me the most important thing about a restaurant is the food but the second most important thing about a restaurant is the feeling you get from the restaurant. The reason I like Miyako so much is because they do a really good job at capturing the feeling of what it is to eat at a Japanese restaurant. So definitely if you're in the Sunset area, I highly recommend giving it a shot. YouTube, if this video made you want to eat some Japanese food, come to Miyako or helped you out, please smash that like button. It would really help me out. Subscribe to the channel because I really want to get to 20... Subscribe to the channel because I really want to get to 100,000 before I'm 25. I'm 23 right now. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. And most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> Can't do it right now because I got this yocha. Oh wait, yeah, we can do this though.